welcome to the 52nd episode of Recluse Horror. This is a daily horror movie review podcast. Uh, with me today, miraculously, is Sam. Hey. I was able to drag him away from his video game. Hey. <laughs> How's Metal Gear Survive? Uh, it's okay. Pretty good. I'm going to have to play it when I have time off and am not working. I only have one day off this week, so not this week, probably. Uh, so, uh, just a little background on the project. Um, back in April on my birthday, I decided I wanted to watch and review a horror movie every single day. I have done so for the past 319 days, although only the last 52 have been podcasts. Before that, it was text reviews. Um, so each episode, we talk about two movies. Uh, most almost every episode we talk about two movies uh one of which i have reviewed that or that i have watched that very night and another which i've reviewed previously in text uh in which i just go over whatever impressions that i have left uh aided of course by the text review um today is going to be different um i i mentioned before on episode 50 that i would probably have um sam watch the moonlight man one before we reviewed the Moonlight Man 2. So we're going to, since that was sort of a rushed review anyway, we're going to talk about both of those um, a little more calm and relaxed ways, I guess. And um, if if there's still time, if I feel like I, I have enough time to edit a longer podcast when we get to the end of the Moonlight Man 2 review, then uh, I will, um, you know, review another one from, from my past uh, text reviews. So uh, yeah, as you might have guessed, we're starting with the Moonlight Man 1 from 2016. Sam, how did you like that? Uh, I actually liked that a lot. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was good. I thought it was pretty good. Um, it was shot well, it was a good idea, mm -hmm. uh, good concept, good, uh, direction, good lighting. Yeah. Um, that was actually really, it was actually surprisingly good. Mm-hmm. Uh, do we need to talk about it any more than that? Uh, I'm I'm just going to talk about a couple of things that I picked up on uh, okay. in the first one and just like go over again the things that I had sort of said before. All right. Um, so one of the things I noted about the lighting, though, is that it is very lit, very bright, like floodlighting. Yeah, for it being outside. That didn't bother me so much. I liked the mix, especially seeing it the second time. Um, I did like the, the mix, like there's um, a particular scene... Where uh, the woman, oh, we should, even even though we did it before, I, I should give the synopsis. Basically, there's a woman who's trying to get into her car, and uh, she sees a horror monster, creature, dude, man, person. Uh, yeah, is that all, as much as you're saying? Yeah, that's as much as I'm saying. Basically, as much as I'm saying anyway. Um, but yeah, the lighting, uh, I did notice um, it is very bright, but it's not without its artfulness, I guess. Um you know, there's definitely some, um, you know, they're lighting from like with a big blinding white one from one side and then they have a like a bluish purplish. I can't I couldn't quite peg down the color um, from another angle. And so that that um, that played very well, uh, made, you know, made her not look flat or anything, which is really easy to do when you're lighting too brightly. Um, but uh, but the, yeah, the lighting, the lighting is pretty good. Um what did you think about the effects? They were really good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I liked them as well. What did you think about the lack of lore or, like, really any... I hated that. Yeah. It, it was actually fine. And that's kind of why I wanted to talk about the second one. Yeah. You the just want to jump right into that. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. That's like... Yeah. There is a lack of lore, um, but knowing that there was a second one out there, I sort of gave it a pass on the lack of lore, especially considering it's like three minutes yeah, and it's something. Short. It's very, very short. Um, so I really didn't anticipate there being, they, them being able to do that in, in one. Um, so the other thing I, that I had talked about before, um, is the Moonlight Man, the name, the Moonlight Man. Um, that's also the name of the character from Gerald's game. Do you remember that character? Uh, yeah, a little bit. What was it? I'm going to pause. Oh, Okay. Um, so did you think that there was any possible correlation between that character? No. You don't think so? I didn't remember Gerald's game. It's not. Yeah. I, it's not my favorite. I don't really like it that much. Uh, uh, uh so I don't know. You know, I, I didn't think about it at all. No. Um, and I don't know if that's like, 
just some sort of urban legend of any kind. I don't mm -hmm. know of any. If it is, I could look it up, I guess. But. Yeah. Maybe that would be worth doing because maybe there is some kind of legend and both characters are in some way based on that. I don't know. Um, I did think I did think that there was a possibility that they were related, but you find out so little about the Moonlight Man um, that, like, it's it's hard to say. Like, you can say that it's not totally unrelated, but you know, it's it's hard to say definitively whether they're not because you don't really find out anything about like his powers or his abilities or anything like that. So we briefly took a little look around the internet to see if, uh, uh, if there was some sort of lore, like urban legend or something like that and didn't see it. That doesn't mean that there actually isn't one somewhere, but so it's not like you can sort of pass off the lack of lore onto that fact. Really? Um, the, it, it, you know, it's like if you did a movie about the, it's, it's actually, it's actually unlike this, but you know, if you made a short film, a three minute short film about the Jersey devil and, you know, it was, you know, they indicate that it's the Jersey devil. They make it very clear that it's the Jersey devil. You don't really have to talk about the origin. You don't really have to talk about the myth or the legend or anything because it's built into the character. This character, the, the Moonlight Man, not, you know, there's not. There's not a, a a lore as far as I can see that came up. Everything that comes up is about the short film. Um, it may have just been buried in search results. We definitely don't have the time to do like proper research, but uh, it's definitely not anything that came up, you know, super quickly. Um, how did you like the acting in the first one? Um, it was good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, it wasn't it wasn't anything mm -hmm. great. The the acting of the Moonlight Man was good. Mm -hmm. The gesturing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think, I think it's really good to be honest. It's yeah. hard for me to really say too much. Yeah. Without just talking about the specifics. Cause I thought it was, mm -hmm. you know, this pretty is... good. Even, even the lighting mm -hmm. I like, even though it's unrealistic, unrealistically bright. Yeah. Which I, I did too, kind of. never care about because I, you know, you'd want rather to be... see what's <laughs> yeah. happening. Right. Yeah. You'd rather it be to... overly bright than overly dark. Yeah. And, and you I can't agree. make out anything or see what's happening. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it. I thought she did, I thought she did a good job too. I thought, I thought the, the Moonlight Man did good and she did good. Um, there's probably a couple of minutes or a couple of moments where I was kind of like, eh, but, but, um, it's definitely better than a lot of the short films I've seen where there's not a whole ton of time or dialogue and, and they still do a good job. I thought she did a really good job, uh, under the circumstances. Uh, was there anything else that you wanted to talk about? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's our review. This and the episode 51 review are both our, our review of The Moonlight Man from 2016. So as we mentioned, the next movie that we want to talk about is The Moonlight Man 2 from 2017. Samuel, how did you like The Moonlight Man 2 from 2017? I liked it a lot less. Yeah. I could kind of see that. Uh, I don't think I liked it a lot less, but I was disappointed with my expectations. Like the the things that I wanted from this, mainly the lore, um, were not were not fulfilled by the by the sequel. Um, it is longer. It's a little over four minutes, right? Yes, I think so. And it doesn't really feel like it does too much with that time. I think there is a little bit better of a build because there's. That was one of the things that I mentioned in the, in the first one is that it just like starts happening. Like it just gets into the story. I like that about it though. Yeah, I I do I do understand why why I would like that. Why I would like that or why you would like that. Um I also I also didn't didn't dislike it. You just you know, it's just like it started very quickly and there wasn't there wasn't any frame of reference or anything. Um but uh, but yeah, there's no lore in this one. I mean, I guess we can talk about that first. Like, um, it's basically just the first one is the problem. Yes, both shorts are almost exactly the same in concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah, concept for sure. Yeah, shooting. I get it's in a different location. It still mm -hmm. takes place in a similar area. Mm -hmm. And it has the same premise, so we're not even going to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, it has the same premise. Uh, yeah, and that on its own isn't bad. But that it didn't add anything new. Right. It didn't do anything new. So watching the the second one 
it seemed tedious after watching the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, it wasn't any more. It wasn't any better either. Maybe it was better in some the, aspects. In some aspects mm-hmm. than the the first one. It would be like, oh, that one was even better. Mm-hmm. But it's yeah. almost the same. Yeah. So it's not better. Right. If anything, it's worse. Um, it, it, it felt very much the same. I did think, I, I, I did really like that they, that they added a little bit more of a build to it, but they definitely, they, I don't want to say that there was too much that they were trying to use as a build up, but, but it, I would have preferred that 30 seconds of that build up was spent m- more on trying to develop some sort of, like I said, lore or like a yeah, new, with the, a new power. Even a, a tiny new... little bit. Mm-hmm. Like giving giving us anything, yeah, I would have accepted it mm-hmm. as something, yeah. And this Just doesn't do, do that yeah, at yeah. all. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the the lighting is very much the same in that it's overly bright, but it does look good. I think the lighting was better in the first one. You think so? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I think that the uh, I mean. So we had a slight interruption there, so I have no idea what I was just talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think you said the lighting was probably better in the first one. Yeah, it, it, I just even the the location, the location has was, a easier way to be lit. It's true. Better. Yeah, it's true. Um, I think I think this one, um, as far as lighting is concerned, it, it suffers from the same problem. So that's not good like it's not an improvement Mm -hmm. um i think that the location was more challenging to control light just based on where exactly it was um but they still should have tried (laughs) um it it's it's more uh, i don't know um they did they did build a little bit of a side story into it having to do with not the moonlight man which was kind of interesting um, but that got no resolution, which actually kind of, I kind of liked that, that right. there was no resolution, I liked that too. but, but I also, that was the only thing that was probably better. Yeah. Is that, you know, more about the, 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 the other characters. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. other characters have more, the, have more, more to them. On. The other, the other character in the first one, they were just disposable. Yeah. You don't know I guess where they were she's just, coming they, from, where she's going to. Yeah. It's a very no- nothing. Is. Yeah. And then this one, you had a little bit more of an idea, which was kind of interesting. Um, there's really no dialogue in either of them. I think we, I, I don't think I've mentioned that in any of either either review that we did of the first one either. But there's almost no dialogue in either of them, um, which again helps build that like creepy sort of like alone trap. You know, like it, it helps put you into their shoes as far as like. Uh, you know, you're not, if, if you were in this situation and you think you're alone, you're not going to be talking to yourself or anything, or it's not likely you're going to spend a lot of time talking to yourself. So it helps you, um, sort of connect to the story a little better, which is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say about this one. I wanted lore. I didn't get any lore. You know, that's, that's the thing. They, there's no new powers. There's no new, uh, techniques or anything like that, that you get to see, um, it it just very much feels like the same thing. Uh, I probably would have wouldn't even be as harsh on it if it wasn't for the first one, right? Um, I I still don't think I'd like it as much as the first one. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was just more neat stuff that happened. Yes. Yeah. Um, I guess is the way to put it without like spoiling it and talking about it specifically. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's true, actually. But I I would have just been like, yeah, that was okay. That was pretty good. I liked I liked this and that. Mm -hmm. Um, but since the first one exists and that one did all the same stuff, but more and better, it's hard for me to, uh, be too, be too positive. Like it's like, it's good. Like if there was a third one that kind of gapped and added to the lore and maybe onto that specific story Mm -hmm. and scene. Yes. I I could, I could see being like, okay, well that was worth it because they built off of that. Yeah. But Rather as than just is, moving on, yeah. yeah. But stand, but as it is alone, mm-hmm. as itself is is not much. If the third one was just the same thing, like the same thing that happened in both of those ones with a new character, I I would be 
wholly dissatisfied with it. If it builds on mm-hmm. something, if it adds the yeah, lore. Yeah, another, another shot. Yeah, I would definitely watch. I mean, either way, like, e- even if even if I knew, like, if somebody told me, like, that's, no, that's they happens. don't do shit, like, I would still watch it for sure. Um, I think it's worth the couple of minutes, the two, three, four minutes um, that you get out of out of those, you know, total of like six minutes of viewing time or something between the two of them. I think it's totally worth that. And the production value is very high. You know, the 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 video quality is very good. I, I know I mentioned in my previous review of the first one that um, that uh, there was no camera shakiness or anything like that. I do think this tried for a couple more camera angles than the first one did. It was a little bit slightly more ambitious with the camera angles. But again, without... The, the story is what I'm interested in in this one, and that's what we're not getting. That's what I, that's my, like, that sums up my entire feelings about both of these, really. Um, I don't think it's a total negative in the first one, because again, like, that was just a very, very, very short short. It might have been the shortest short I've ever reviewed. So, I know, I put that in my, in my notes. I thought it was funny. Mm-hmm. I, I meant to put the shortiest short that I ever, shortiest. that I ever the reviewed. The shortiest short you ever short. yeah. That's what I meant to put in my review, and I didn't. I was like, "Yeah, fuck it, <laughs> like, I don't care." <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I think I think it's pretty impressive as far as like um, what it does in that period of time. This one is longer and doesn't really do enough, and it focuses too much on a character that we're less interested in than the character in the title. Yeah, and that's a that's a I think that's the the strength of both of them. Yeah, is that the uh, Moonlight Man is cool. Yeah, super cool. Uh, like you, like, and that's the thing you want to know about the Moonlight Man. You and they won't tell me about see him. See more of the Moonlight Man in a way. Yeah, there's a part too I could talk about, but I don't want to spoil it. Yeah. Um, and so on, and and the and the second one doesn't do that, and Mm-mm. like I said, if that if there was a third one that built off of those ideas, then mm-hmm. I could see why this one existed, but without it, right? I don't see why. Yeah, it exists because it's just the first one. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I, yeah. I think that's all I have to say. Yeah. I'm done talking. I will shut down now. Yeah. <laughs> Shutting down. <laughs> you didn't see it, but Sam was really cute. He, like, put his head down as I was saying that. <laughs> yeah. We should just get a video for this podcast, like a video camera. Well, you you have a video camera, but, like, only pointed at you. See, So they can see these cute things like Samuel shutting down. Yeah. One yeah. day. One day. One day. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much all I have to say. Would you recommend this to anybody specific or either of the two of them? Um, nobody specific. Anybody that's into horror shorts, uh, horror shorts, like mm-hmm. it, like the rest of them. You know, people like them, other people don't. Mm-hmm. The high production um, value, I think, is worth yeah, it's it. Pretty good if you're if you're a a, a full length horror fan and you're attempting to make a transition and start getting into short films. This is not the best option, but it's a good place to start because you're not immediately delving into like really super low budget, like three thousand dollar budget movies. Um, if that, it, yeah, if that. Uh, you know, a bunch of bunch of people getting together and doing stuff by themselves. This is a much easier transition piece, I think, than than you're going to get out of some of the really low budget but really high ambitious pieces. Um, I think this is a more natural fit, uh, especially if you're into modern horror. I think this would appeal more to modern horror fans than classic horror fans, personally. But there is some crossover. Um, anybody else? Nah. Okay. Well, that's our review of The Moonlight Man uh, 2 from 2017. And I just looked at our time here, and I I think just uh, just based on how tired I am and how not super great I feel today on a physical level. By the way, my job is great, if anybody cares. I love it to death. But, um, yeah, I, I just, based on how I feel, um, I, I think I'm going to call it tonight. Um Thank you for listening. Sorry that the two movies that we reviewed, I reviewed one of them I reviewed two days ago. Um, but you got Sam, so. Yay! Yeah. No one cares. Do you have a rating for, for either of these uh, movies? The first one gets gets uh, five Mac Tonight's. <laughs> okay. A super cool moon mascot. Yeah, heck And uh, I was racking my brain to try to think of a lesser uh-huh. cool moon mascot for the second uh-huh. one. Yeah. But I couldn't think of any. Just rated a chair face. So, a chair, a, a chipmunk chair face. Yeah. Uh-huh. Give it one chip, chipmunk chair face. Yeah. Chippendale. 
Chip Chipmunk, Chip Chippendale, Chair Face. Chair Face. <laughs> Chippen- the Tick? Yeah, the Tick. <laughs> I give it the Tick. <laughs> well, I give the first one Arthur and I give the second one. I don't know. I already said Chair Face. What else is there? What else is that? <laughs> what else is it? I don't know. Arthur, I love you. Come marry me. Uh, anyway, so that's our show. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Um, if you're interested in Sam's feelings on uh, Metal Gear Survive, um, you're not going to get them. <laughs> well, I could talk about it, but did you, it's pretty controversial. It's uh, pretty controversial. It will it will divide the viewership of the <laughs> no people who watch this. <laughs> so I'll just keep my political <laughs> agenda to myself. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of salt in the uh, Metal Gear community about certain things going on. So uh, if you're a Metal Gear fan, I I know you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you're not a Metal Gear fan, then that doesn't make any sense. It's like yeah, politics. Uh, what? It's it's company politics. It's not references. References. Um. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, that's our show. Uh, if you enjoyed this show, yeah, I can't see how, but if you did, if for some reason you liked the show where we don't talk about things and forget the names of tick characters, then uh, you can uh, you can rate, review, subscribe, uh, comment, whatever it is on whatever site that you found us. Uh, if you would like to help out the show, the best thing that you can do is to share it with someone that you love or someone that you think is interested in horror movies or someone who wants to yell at Sam for even buying Metal Gear Survive. Which, if you want to do that, you can email me and I'll make sure he gets it at reclusehorror at gmail.com uh, You can also reach out to us on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. <laughs> I'm on a roll tonight. Uh, if you would like to share it with someone and, or, or if you don't like the platform that you found us and you'd like an an alternative, you can find us on YouTube, Player FM, Podcast Addict, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and pretty much any podcatcher out there. Um, and I think that's all the things I say in the completely wrong order. Um, was there anything, was there anything else you wanted to say? No. No? I don't think so. Lali Lulelo. Samuel, if you don't get a Metal Gear reference, you're gonna get whipped. Never mind. (laughs) Okay. Lali Lulelo, everyone. Samuel, say goodbye. Goodbye.